legend. Urban myth, urban tale, or contemporary legend is a form of modern folklore consisting of stories that may or may not have been believed by their tellers to be true. As with all folklore and mythology, the designation suggests nothing about the story's veracity, but merely that it is in circulation, exhibits variation over time, and carries some significance that motivates the community in preserving and propagating it. The internet makes it easier to spread urban legends, and also to debunk them. There are many sites that investigate these legends, most notably Snopes.com. The capacity of the internet to spread rumors has been used in marketing. For instance, with the low-budget film The Blair Witch Project, which attempted to pretend the film was about a genuine urban legend rather than a work of original fiction. The Legend of Bloody Mary has served as inspiration for a number of movies and television shows dealing with the supernatural. Bloody Mary allegedly appears to individuals or groups who invoke her name, usually by chanting her name in a mirror placed in a dimly lit room. The Bloody Mary apparition allegedly appears as a corpse, a witch, or ghost, can be friendly or evil and is sometimes seen covered in blood. The lore surrounding the ritual, if she is summoned properly, states that participants may endure the apparition screaming at them, cursing them, strangling them, stealing their soul, drinking their blood, or scratching their eyes out. Paul is dead, is an urban legend suggesting that Paul McCartney of the English rock band The Beatles died in 1966 and was secretly replaced by a look-alike. In September 1969, American college students published articles claiming that clues to McCartney's supposed death could be found among the lyrics and artwork of the Beatles recordings. Clue hunting proved infectious and within a few weeks had become an international phenomenon. Rumors declined after a contemporary interview with McCartney was published in Life magazine in November of 1969. Popular culture continues to make occasional reference to the legend, and McCartney poked fun at it with a 1993 live album titled, Paul is Live. The Red Room story is an internet legend about a pop-up which appears on the victim's computer. The image simply shows a red door and a recorded voice asks, like. Even if the pop-up is closed, it will repeatedly reappear until the voice finally completes the question, Do you like the Red Room? Those who have seen the pop-up are found dead, their walls painted red in their own blood. The Slender Man is a fictional character that originated as an internet meme created by Something Awful forums user Victor Surge in 2009. It is depicted as a thin, unnaturally tall man with a blank and usually featureless face wearing a black suit. Slender Man is commonly said to stalk, abduct, or traumatize people, particularly children. Slender Man is not tied to any particular story, but appears in many works of fiction, mostly composed online. In 2012, The Slender Man was adapted into a video game called Slender the Eight Pages. As of August 2012, the game has been downloaded over two million times. For those of you who don't know what snuff films are, they are movies in which a person is murdered during the course of filming. Usually they are said to be funded by twisted rich people, but as of yet, not a single snuff film has been legitimately found in spite of numerous rewards going to anyone with information on their production. This one can barely be considered an urban legend considering how often people have been found buried alive. In fact, in the past, many coffins were equipped with strings that ran through the ground and were connected to a bell not too far away. This way, 
If anyone did happen to be buried alive, they could pull the string and get the Undertaker's attention. Some of these stories are based on an element of truth, and some are so out there that it's really difficult to tell if it's just a tall tale. Whether you believe these or not, you can be assured that these tales can be quite unsettling. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and a comment if you like this episode. I would also like to thank Lachvin on Fur Affinity for this wonderful suggestion. Cheers, buddy. You can find me on Twitter and 4B Studios at yahoo.com. Till next time, pleasant dreams.